As one county stands pat, another is taking a new approach to try and get some people back to their normal lives. Niagara County has started a program that lets people test out, out of what would be a 10 day quarantine. This is very similar to the test to stay program that is in place in the Grand Island School District. Natalie Fahmy shows us how this works. We eliminate those last three days of quarantine. Niagara County has implemented a test out of quarantine policy. Instead of people having to go through the usual a 10 day quarantine period. This allows them to cut that down by three days. Public Health Director Dan Stapleton says the discussion to put this program in place started with schools. We want to make sure that the students are in school as much as possible. Stapleton says schools have testing providers for their students and staff. Anyone else must get a test at a county site or pharmacy. Do you have to ramp up the amount of testing sites now? Well, we've been trying to get uh, additional testing sites uh, uh, put together by the New York State Department of Health. Stapleton says they're trying to set up a site at Niagara County Community College. He says the county will accept almost any test, like a rapid test or PCR, to get out of quarantine. Home kits will not be accepted. The person may not do it correctly. And then reliability isn't there, but no, they can do, doesn't just have to be a PCR. I believe that that targeted approach can also help people. There may be people who will never get vaccinated under any circumstance. Governor Hochul says the state plans to distribute at home tests as well. And Stapleton says the test out of quarantine program in Niagara County will help everyone. That additional three days makes a difference to not only the employer, but also uh, the, the teachers and the, uh, the students. You must complete at least seven days of quarantine before testing out if you're unvaccinated. If you're fully vaccinated, you don't have to quarantine, but should get a test five to seven days after an exposure and wear a mask for 14. Live in the newsroom, Natalie Fahmy, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Natalie.